Greetings, this is just a short video to show you how to use Excel a little more efficiently than doing some of the computations for interest by hand. So what I did is I went into Excel and I just created a new Excel spreadsheet. And I put these titles here. These are some key things you would need to know in order to compute the interest on a loan. So let's imagine, for example, the issue date of the loan, like a note receivable, was 1118. And this loan is going to mature that would be six months later. If you, it's, a lot of times students make mistakes because they count the months incorrectly. So this is all of January, February, March, April, May, and all of June. So this is actually a six-month note. Let's imagine the principal is a $50,000 loan. And the rate on this is 5% per year. So always remember when we quote you a rate, this is always an annual rate. So then you're going to have to convert that to the time period that the loan was outstanding between issue date and maturity date. Or if you're trying to compute the accrued interest between the last time you accrued interest and the uh, reporting period date. So the time in this case, we're just going to go ahead and compute the number of days since we'll, we'll imagine that this loan was quoted as a, um, a number of days to maturity. Okay, so let's take the maturity date and take the issue date. So let's say when this note was originally issued, they said, okay, it's going to be issued on January 1st, and it will mature 180 days later. Okay, so because the maturity, the, the time period of the note is in days, you're going to have to use a time factor of days. So that would be 360 days. I know there's 365 days in a year, but whenever you're doing these interest computations, um, we're going to use 360, just because the math's easier, and that's what you see out in the real world. So... We're going to compute the interest now. The interest computation is principal times rate times the time, but it's got to be the factor of time that the loan was outstanding. So this rate is an annual rate, but we've got to convert that down to a, a period of time that the loan was outstanding. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. Take the principal multiplied by the annual rate, multiplied by the 180 days that it's been outstanding, divided by your time factor. And that would tell you that the interest on this loan, uh, as of June 30th, would be 1250 So if they were to pay off the loan right now, um, they would have to credit cash 51250 the, the people paying this, and they would debit interest expense 1250 and debit note payable. Now on the other side, if you're the one receiving this, if you were the payee, you would debit cash 51250 which is the sum of the principal and the interest. That's your debit cash. And then you'd credit interest revenue for 1250 and you'd credit note receivable 50 Now here's the type of problem you might come across. What if they don't tell you the principal and they want you to back into what the principal is. Well, you could use some algebra, but uh, actually, if, since you are allowed to use Excel on the exam, you can just use a really neat feature that's built into Excel, which is called Goal Seek. And the way you use Goal Seek is go like this. You make sure you've got a formula, right? Here's the formula for interest. Make sure you've got your formula for interest. And then we're going to go to What If Goal Seek, okay? So the problem will probably tell you that what the interest is. So they'll tell you the interest was 1250 And they'll tell you the number of days it was outstanding the interest rate. But then they'll ask you what's the principal. So once again, we're going to set the cell, which it has to be a formula, equal to whatever was given, 1250 And then change the principal to arrive there. And there you go. There's your answer, $50,000. We could do the same thing for time. Um, or well, let's say the interest rate. Uh, let's say they didn't tell us the interest rate. Let's put this number back as principal. What if they didn't tell us the interest rate? What if they left that out? Okay. So once again, we can use the goal seek. What if goal seek? And we're going to set the um, make sure we set the interest rate to be whatever's given, one thousand two fifty, by changing the rate cell. Hit OK. There's five percent. So on the exam, you are allowed to use Excel, and I would recommend you just learn how to set up this simple formula and then use the goal seek if you have any problems where you're solving for the unknown.
All right, good luck.